Danger. I'll be handling corrosive acids and doing reactions that produce deadly fumes in this video. Doing these reactions without proper safety equipment could cause serious injury or death. Okay, welcome back to part eight. And uh, some viewers suggested, stir bar here, uh, putting these filters with our solids in some aqua regia. See if we can get some more gold out of it. I don't think this is going to be successful, but I'm going to try it anyway. Here's both of our filter papers. I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid to this. And then I'm going to turn the stir bar on, put some heat to it, and I'm going to add some nitric acid. Okay, we mustn't forget the sulfuric acid. Put a couple of uh, droppers of concentrated nitric into the beaker now. Form aqua regia in here. Now I'm going to add some sulfuric just in case there's any lead in here. This sulfuric acid will. Precipitate out the lead as lead sulfate, and then we can uh, filter it out later on. We've been on uh, stirring on heat with aqua regia in here. We're going to get a little bit of the uh, solution on a piece of filtered paper. I'm going to test it with Stannis. And look at that. Somebody said check the residue. There's no way that the gold yield could be that low. They were absolutely correct. So I'm gonna add a little bit more aqua regia, or a little bit more nitric here. Let's see if we can uh, get everything to go into solution. A little bit more. Let's see what that's gonna do. Oh yeah, we're getting some reaction going on in there. With fumes. So that looks like uh, I might be putting some more metal in solution. Quite a bit more actually. Look at the fumes building up in there. We'll just let this continue to stir. Okay, I'm gonna add a shot of uh, hydrochloric acid here. Just a little bit more. Keep things well hydrated. We'll let that cook. See what kind of yield we get. It's been on the heat now for about three hours. I'm still getting fume production. I'm going to add a little bit more nitric here. See what happens. I'm just going to keep stirring this and heating it up. Adding small doses of nitric acid to it. Until I don't get no more fumes being produced. And we'll take it off there, let it cool down, and get it through a filter. It is now 1 p.m. I started on this experiment about 7.30 or 8 a.m. I'm going to be standing here and get a little bit more of our solution on a piece of filter paper. And then we're going to check it here with some Stannis Chloride testing solution. Just see what kind of concentration we're looking at here. Oh yeah, that's a nice dark stain. Quite a bit more gold in solution. All right, it's been on there about what? Five hours now. 
So what I think I'm going to do is turn this off, take it down off the heat, and we'll let this cool down and filter it out and get us a precipitation. See how much more gold we can recover out of this uh, filtered solids that we saved. Okay, our solution has been allowed to settle and cool completely. Now we're going to filter it out and get our nice pregnant gold solution pulled through this filter. Whoever said check the residue and hit it with aqua regia was a genius. Bravo Zulu to that person. Here we go. I've got everything pulled through the filter. If you look, we still got some solids here. A little bit of yellow staining on the uh, filter. So we'll put that in our paper storage. I don't think there's any more gold in those solids. Now what I'll do is transfer the gold solution into this beaker. All right, gonna verify the uh, gold content of this solution. This is a small piece of filter paper that I've cut up. Just dip it down in there, get a little of the solution on there. This is Stannis Chloride Testing Solution. You see that dark brown stain? That means we've got gold in solution. Okay, here we go, a moment of truth for this uh, precipitation. See how much gold we're gonna get out of this second extraction. I'm using Stump Out by Bonide. Green and purple color. The Stump Out sold by Spectracide will not work for this. This is sodium metabisulfite. And here we go. We're gonna put our first spoon in and precipitate out the gold. for a little bit of white foam on the surface. I think we've got it there. I can tell by the color that it's turned that all the gold has been precipitated now. We'll let that settle out. It looks like we got a nice little collection of gold down in the bottom of this beaker. Let's see if we can get it to slide off to the side. There it goes. That's going to be a little bit more than we collected the first time around, looks like. It's probably going to be close to uh, another half a gram or so, maybe a little bit more. Alright, we're just going to pour off the waste into this container. The uh, filter that I selected is real slow drip by drip so I'm just gonna pour this waste off into this uh, flask and we'll put this in the stock pot now what I'm gonna do here's our gold let's see I'll give it a quick rinse with some uh, water here Pretty good. There's a few crumbs of gold down in there, but not much. 
transfer the gold that we got in our beaker here into this melt dish. Here's the bead from the previous refining right down here. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. It's the 0.4 gram bead from the previous refining. What I'm going to do, try to get this gold down into the uh, melt dish. Stick the bead in there with it. Just a bit in the bottom there. I'm gonna stick the bead in the melt dish now. A little 0.4 gram bead from the uh, video number seven. Now we're gonna take and put it over here on the melt table. We're gonna fire the torch up and melt it. Okay, now we're gonna hit it with the oxyacetylene torch here. Try to get it melted up into a nice bead for us. Oh yeah, this is going to be a going to at least double the size of the bead that we get here. looking much better all right there we go oh yeah that's much better much better. That's more like it for a yield for our uh, gold-plated scrap. All right, here's our little bead of pure gold. This looks much better than the last little bit that we got. Let's put it on the scale here. We've got 2.2 grams divided by 5,679 grams equals point zero 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 three eight uh, point one would be ten percent point zero one would be one percent point zero zero one would be one tenth of one percent point zero 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 three is three one hundredths of one percent yield for our 12.5 pounds of gold-plated scrap. Wow, just goes to show how important it is to save all the residues from your gold refining waste. We increased our yield over five times by processing the uh, residue in our filter with aqua regia. In other words, the hydrochloric acid and the bleach didn't have enough punch to get all of the metal to go into solution. And we got that aqua regia in there. We got it all dissolved and increased our yield by over five times. 2.2 grams of pure gold. All right, I'm glad I did that. Thanks to the person who suggested going after the residue with aqua regia. It worked perfectly. That'll conclude part eight of the gold-plated scrap stripping cell video.
Thank you for watching.